Dear students, in this module, we will continue on building our concept for using the UPGMA algorithm. So to start up, the UPGMA algorithm is an algorithm to create phylogenetic trees by performing pairwise sequence alignment on nucleotide or amino acid sequences. So once you perform the pairwise sequence alignment, then you can see which two sequences have the smallest distance and by creating clusters out of such smallest distance distant sequences you can compute the distance between other sequences and this cluster so this approach is very useful because it can help you to create a phylogenetic tree so let's review the formula for creating the clusters if you remember so you started by combining two clusters which in the first step are sequences into a cluster Z. So the distance between cluster Z and any other sequence W is given by the distance between Z and W equals number of sequences in X multiplied by the distance between X and W. Remember X is a sequence and W is a sequence as well. So number of sequences in Y and the distance between Y and W. So using this formula you could create clusters. And the second part of UPGMA was to combine the trees. So remember that several clusters can be linked to form a tree. And several trees may need to be connected as well. So this is a cluster. This is another cluster and this is a tree. So to combine the two clusters, you can use the simple formula. You calculate the number of sequences in X and Y. You take a reciprocal and you multiply it by the sum of the distances between I and J. Okay, so we continue with our example now. So this was the distance matrix that you obtained from the pairwise sequence alignment. And obviously you found out that A and D were the closest. So next you created a cluster between A and D which you called V. And then you computed the distance between V and B, V and C, V and E and V and F. So here is the formula that we use to compute the distance. So the distances came out to be 6, 8, 2 and 6. So you have to update this distance matrix such that you remove the A and D from this matrix because they have been merged into V. So their place will be taken up by V. Let's see how it is done. Just remember 6, 8, 2 and 6. So here this distance matrix is replaced by this distance matrix and you can see that there is no A here, there is no D here, but there is a new column that is V and the distance between V and B is 6, V and C is 8, V and E is 2 and V and F is 6. So essentially this distance matrix has been converted into an updated distance matrix. Now the next step is to create the next cluster. So the approach is the same. You simply look at this new matrix and find out the shortest distance between the sequences or clusters. So remember B, C, E and F are still sequences while V is a cluster. So you can see that 2 is the smallest value in this distance matrix. So we need to create a cluster between V and E. So V and E here become a cluster. Let's call it W. So now we have to compute the distance between W, B, W, C and W, F. Remember that E will be eliminated from the matrix and V will be 
eliminated from the matrix as well because they will be replaced by W. So let's see. Remember that AD earlier combined into a cluster V and now we are proposing to create a cluster between V and E and we have named it W. So the distances that we are going to compute include WB, WC and WF. This process will be repeated until we have completed the tree. As you can see here, our tree is already shaping up very nicely. On the vertical axis, you can see that the distance is stated as 1. So in conclusion, once a cluster is selected, then you have to compute its distance with all other clusters and sequences. So let me clarify here once again that in the first distance matrix only comprises of the sequences. But once you make a cluster out of two sequences, then you have a cluster and several sequences in the distance matrix. You continue on creating these clusters and at the end you get the whole phylogenetic tree. So in the next module we will see how to repeat this process such that we arrive at the final tree.